What's up, fish fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Fish, and we have a delivery. That's right. As you saw in uh, the last videos, I moved all my big uh, albino pakus and oscars into the monster pond, and now the mini pond has very few fish in it. We put those little uh, small tiger, excuse me, we had the red ruby albino oscars, and we had the lemon oscars, and I think actually we lost one of them along the way, but we have three in there, and I'm actually gonna show, I actually have a, another little friend I'm gonna show you guys in there as well, I found in the monster pond, you're gonna see that's a little special surprise. Anyway, I got some new fish we're gonna be putting in, so we're gonna be putting some electric blue Jack Dempsey's into this mini pond, some more baby Oscars to grow them up, and we're gonna, I bought, I, I, I know it's a bad idea, but I tried it anyway. I bought three silver arowanas. They're a little small to be putting in the monster pond, but I can't put them in the mini pond because you know they're gonna jump out. So I'm gonna try them in the monster pond. I'm gonna sneak them in there when no one's looking. I'll probably feed the fish, distract them. I think they should be able to make it. Um, it's, it might be an expensive experiment I'm doing, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So let's, uh, let's, let's take a look and see what we got. It's actually raining here in Cape Coral today. Um, actually, it was a nice little day. Now it's raining, but at least it cooled off. So here's the mini pond, which is not such a mini pond, but it's a mini pond. There's one of the little um, red ruby Oscars we got in there. And let's see what else we got. There's another one over there. That's uh, So I got the red ruby Oscar. I got a lemon Oscar. Um, I know I only have three Oscars left. They're freaking out a little bit because it's, uh, it's raining here. In the water. I also, I, I'm sure I was going to surprise you guys, but I don't see it. Um, let's see. I have a like a white baby koi in here as well that I found in my filter of the monster pond over there. Obviously, the fish spawned. I think I showed you that the other day. I'm pretty sure I did. There's some baby fish in there, and uh, one got caught in the filter, so I said, I'll throw him in the mini pond here. Oh, there he is. There he is. See him? That's my baby koi. And he's, he's eating with the Oscars. He, I think he thinks he's an Oscar. He's definitely put some size. There's my uh, chocolate Fico cats. Look at these guys. They're all over here by the filter. I don't know what they're hanging out over here. Maybe because the water's a little cooler and they're hanging out by the heater. If you remember, I put these in cups months ago. They were teeny tiny. I didn't even think they lived. They were hiding in the rocks. Matter of fact, when this pond was cleaned out, um, so only one of them was found. And two of them actually were in the, in the, in, in the pond with no water just hiding in the rocks for like a whole day. I don't even know how they survived. They must have been drops. They must have just kept their body moist. They probably, I think those fish can actually breathe in the air too, from the surface. So anyway, we're gonna put some more Oscars in here. We're gonna put some electric blue Jack Dempsey's in here and we're gonna hopefully see how they do. Here's my uh, boxes. They, it's funny, they both came today on the same day. I ordered this one from Amazon. This was the Oscars I ordered. And as you can see, they came on time. And these came the next day, the fish store. I got my three uh, silver arowanas from these guys. I'm very happy. I mean, literally within one day, I got my order. It was, I couldn't believe they both came on the same day. I ordered this, I think the, the day before, and then this one came in one day, this came in two days. So, and I ordered them, you know, on Saturday or something like that. This was like Saturday, this was Sunday, and or maybe this was Sunday, Monday, and then it's today is Tuesday, so we got them. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we're gonna take, uh, they put all the Oscars in one bag. Okay, that's all right. They look like they're all doing all right, I'm sure. They wanna get out of this bag. There's a lemon Oscar, I think that I, I had lost one. I got some red rubies and I got some, some, red um, Oscars as well that are not albinos, just to be to balance it off a little bit. As the rain continues to fall here, uh, we've been acclimating these fish. I'm gonna start releasing them. I'm gonna just scoop them out with my hands so I gently, I wanna hurt these guys. Sometimes the nets are just too nasty on them. They gotta be stressed out of the mine too from the trip. There's a nice little, uh, Red Oscar. I like the Red Oscars that are not albinos too, even though I'm a big albino guy. Really pretty fish. And you know, when they get older, they, they get so much more color too. Oscars really, I think, improve as they get older. 
sometimes depending on what what you put them in they sometimes can change you know color sometimes the albinos will get a little dark i don't even know how they get darkness in them but there's the other red one release him these these fish are a perfect size too look at that beautiful red rubiosca wow that is a nice nice fish beautiful color i'm i'm telling you i'm very very happy with what i'm getting with these fish i bought on amazon look at that beautiful one gorgeous i hope they all live I, i'm such an oscar lover and there were some crazy, crazy ones from in Brazil, but uh, I got to tell you, these are the nicest ones I've gotten. Look at that beautiful lemon Oscar right there. So, very happy with these. Where's my uh, electric blue jack Dempsey's? I got to find where those are. I almost missed these electric blue jack, jack Dempsey's. Look how teeny these are. I hope these things are going to do all right in this big pond. Hope they survive. Hopefully they're tough. I know the electric blues are not as tough as the normal jack Dempsey's. These are really tiny, wow. I just don't want to put them with my discus and my angelfish in my fish tank. They should really, I should really put them in there and grow them a little bit, but I think they're gonna be all right. I don't think the Oscars are that big that they're gonna have a problem. So we're gonna put them in the, in the, in the mini pond. All right, we have our first electric blue Jack Dempsey. Gosh, I love these fish, man. If these things make it in this pond, I'll be so happy. They're so awesome, they, they, they're beautiful looking. They're gonna grow so much in here. I just am a little worried because they're a little on the small side. There's a lot of glare in the water. There he is. Hopefully he'll, these these two guys will be able to make it. These Oscars are big, but they're not really that big. Hopefully they won't, won't try to eat them. The koi, that little koi is, is the biggest one in the whole pond, aside from the catfish. There's, those placos are not gonna bother. And right, we're gonna put the other one in now. Okay, here's our uh, second electric blue jack Dempsey. I'm gonna release him. Just get a nice quick look at him. We probably might not see him for a couple weeks till he gets a lot bigger, so let's let him go. Everything looks very healthy, I'll give you that much. I'm very happy with the fish I got. I've had some bad experiences with some other places, but these fish seem to be really healthy. All right, so we're gonna leave them. It's raining here, as you can see. When I come back tomorrow morning to feed, hopefully everyone will be ready to, to eat. These guys are gonna acclimate overnight in the pond. They're gonna hide and stay away from the other fish, I'm sure. And then tomorrow, hopefully, when the sun comes out, as it does every morning, we'll feed. Very happy with, with this, and this is gonna be a real Amazonian, South American uh, little pond here. We're gonna have some cool stuff in there. I love growing little fish up to big fish. We've done it in the monster pond, and we're doing it in the mini pond. As you can see, we'll take a look at the monster pond here. Look at those pacus. They've, got, they've grown like in the two weeks I've had them in there already. Look at them. You can see them swimming with the koi. I'd like to get some of these koi out of here. I still got too many in here. But the pakus are doing great in here. They're actually looking for food. I might throw some food out. There's my Oscars. Let's see if we can zoom on those things. There's my albino tiger Oscars doing amazing in there too. I have four of those They're swimming around somewhere. And this is a, it, it's, it's such a big pond that you really could, uh, little mini fish can survive in here if they're smart enough because there's a lot of hiding places in here. So let's get those arowanas in. All right, we're, all the fish are gonna get some nice food now. I'm gonna throw us a bunch of food in there to kind of keep them distracted while I put the arowanas into the pond. Get them, let's get them away from thinking about fish Although maybe this is going to send them into a feeding frenzy, I don't know. But I, I think we can sneak the arowanas in now. We got three silver arowanas. Let's take a look and see, see one of these guys. These are pretty good size. I think they're going to be able to handle themselves just fine. My first gut intuition would have been to go with albino or leucistic arowanas, but they're a lot more expensive. And if I would have lost those, I probably would have been very upset. So I went with the silver arowanas. In a pond situation like this, you're not going to be able to tell much of a difference between a silver and, <laughs> and a leucistic. I mean, a little bit, but you, it's not like you're looking through a fish tank. So you kind of see them on the surface. My fear is that they're going to jump out. And I'm going to find them in, on, on the rocks over there or on the deck over here. It's a, once again, if you, if you go with a fish that's not quite as expensive like a silver, I, I'm not going to kill myself if one of them jumps out. But uh, I would really want the leucistics like I used to have in New York when I had my three footer and my uh, 650 gallon. This is 10,000 gallons though, so these arowana should get very big here. All right, here we go. All 
All right, there's my, there's one of my silver arowanas. You can see him swimming there. He's little, he's little compared to everyone else, but hopefully he'll be left alone and he'll be able to fend for himself over there. There he is. Let's see if I can zoom in a little more. There he is. I hope he, he makes it. I really do. He's a little on the small side. I didn't, once you see him next to the koi, you're like, oh man. You know what? These are tough fish. Hopefully they'll leave him alone and they'll and it'll be fine. He's got two friends in here as well, and so with three of them, hopefully someone makes it. And there's another one. There's the third one I just dropped in. Really nice looking arowanas. They're, they're pretty decent size. I mean, they're not they're not teeny. They should be able to handle themselves. Once they start eating, they'll grow fast too in here. So I'm pretty happy the way they look. Yeah, it's a little bit of an experiment because number one, will they make it in here? Number two, will they not jump out? There's no way to know that for sure. Especially when they get big. I don't know if they're gonna jump out when they're this little, but certainly when they get a little bigger. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, so we got two over there. I dropped one right over here where I am kind of sitting on the edge of the pond, but I don't know where that one is, so. As long as the pockets don't eat these guys, we'll be all right. Throw some food over there. Oops. Yeah, they're going to be a little scared of these big fish. I think these, as long as we, I keep these fish pretty well fed, I don't think there's going to be too many problems. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Yeah, it is raining out here and I got a little wet, but that's okay. We released the Oscars. We released the baby uh, electric blue Jack Dempsey's. And then we put the three silver arowanas into the monster pond that's right behind me there. Hopefully they will make it. I'm nervous about all the fish. I'm a little more nervous about the arowanas, but I don't know if I should be more nervous about the fact that they, they're going to get eaten or more nervous about the fact that they're going to jump out. Uh, both things worry me a little bit, but you know what? Hey, let's let nature take its course here. Uh, if it works out and they make it, it it's going to be a beautiful little feature to have in this big monster pond. See some big arowana swimming around with my albino pacus. I'm restoring my monster pond from New York, my monster fish tank from New York, except now I'm doing it on a much grander scale and the fish should get that much bigger. Hope you're enjoying it. If you are, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Guys, we'll see you back next time.